All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I actually take my mud soap and put it into my into my processor, okay? And how we get how we get things moving here in the Henderson household, okay? So basically, all I do is I just take this processor here and you know make sure everything's locked down and whatnot. The last thing we want is a uh, part of this processor to fly off, okay? And then we just I just lock it in. Again, just make sure it's all locked in. Uh, and then basically, I just take a I just take a bar of soap and uh, and I process it. So basically, what I do first is I take the bar of soap and go ahead and open it up. Okay. <clears throat> And then I just take one of my one of my paring knives that I have here. Nothing special about it. Just take a paring knife, and then I just start breaking it up inside of the processor. Okay, I just start breaking it right down in there. So usually what I do is I start with the back first. Okay, I start with the back first, and uh, and work work the back of the soap first, just like that. And it can get messy, and that's why uh, I have all this uh, down to cover up, because uh, I, I don't like mess, okay? And I'm going to just cut this up, shave it off. Okay? Okay? And you know it's your preference how far you want it to uh, how far you want to uh, shave shave the bar down. Okay. So you work on how far you want to how far you want to shave it down, and wherever you decide, guess what? It's gonna be the it's gonna be perfect. Okay. Now here's the other option. The other option is using one of these. You can just simply just just do this. And it'll just start peeling right off, okay? Or shaving right off the bar of soap, okay? Just like that. Just like that, okay? So uh, if, I use, uh, if I use this, typically um, I'll just put it on a, on a napkin. And then I'll just take the napkin and make sure the baggies, make sure the baggies opened up. And, uh, and then I'll just pour the soap right into the baggie, okay? And then I close it up. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention was I always try to keep uh, a Sharpie along with all my other stuff that I have that I always use, like my envelopes and my baggies and whatnot, okay? Um, I like to write on my, my baggies before I actually put anything on them with a Sharpie, okay? Uh, so I would, you know, I would normally put on there, like, you know, maybe secret, and then I would put on there... Uh, what the item is, okay? So you can either write it out or you can use one of the machines that uh, you actually type, you know, all your information on in order to uh, get the, um, um, you know, to, to, to write down what the item is. Like uh, maybe it's a, um, a foot cream or maybe it's hand cream, right? Or a peeling gel. You want to write that on there or type it out, okay? It's just real easy. All right. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to I'm just going to put the top on the processor, okay? And let me flip this around. See if I can get me a little bit more area here. No, actually that was better that way. Okay? So I'm just going to put the top on it just like that. Okay? And I'm going to just turn it on. But what I want to do is I want to I want to make it really fine powder, okay? Some some people may want it to be a little bit more clumpy. I don't. I want it to be real fine powder. That way, when you when you wet when you wet, and I'll show you here in a minute in the bathroom. But um, you know, there's a technique that I've learned that uh, I can use a a baggie with uh, some 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 of the mud soap or the other soaps that actually works really well. And you don't use you don't need a lot of this in order to see a difference. Okay. 
So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, want to liquefy or make this as fine as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right. So first I start with chop and then I, I move down the scale to where it gets more fine. Okay. Okay. So so once I do that. What I basically want to do is I want to go inside of the uh, actual um, processor and I want to actually start kind of mixing that stuff around a little bit so that it gets real fine, okay? So I'm going to just mix it around. Again, nothing, nothing special about it. <clears throat> just mix it around, okay? Just like that. <clears throat> and like I said, it kind of kicks up a little dust. So you just want to be aware of that if this is if this is how you choose to uh, put your samples together, okay? So as it uh, you know as it becomes more of a powder, it'll it'll just start to uh, the powder will just start to come off a little bit, okay? Okay. So basically, what you're left with is this. <clears throat> what you're left with, <coughs> excuse me is a pretty fine powder okay can you see that it's pretty fine pretty fine powder okay so then what I'm gonna do from there from that point is I actually I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bag it into my little baggies okay so this is what I'm gonna do Sorry I'm moving around so much, but, uh, uh, you know, this is no major production. This is just what we do here at, at our house, okay? So then what I basically do is I take a, you know, I take about, about that much, okay? And then I just simply just, just put it in, in my baggie, okay? So it's, it's probably about uh, one-third full. And believe it or not, this little bit, this little bit can actually wash your face, your whole face, probably for a whole week, if not more. Just this little bit, believe it or not, okay? So basically what I do is I take all of this soap and uh, put it into an envelope like this. And you want to make sure you have a, make a card or something for, the, for your friends and family, Okay? And you just simply want to give them instructions on how to use this soap. Okay? <clears throat> so, now that we, that we have our, our bags all bagged up, okay? Now you have the uh, ability to send some samples out to friends and family. And so, all the other soaps that I have over there, all our mineral soaps, I can do the same thing. And I've done it for this. And uh, usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask, hey, what kind of soaps do you use? Because... Obviously, all of our friends and family, they wash with soap of some kind, okay? Whether it's going to be liquid soap or bar soap, maybe they have a particular fragrance, okay? Uh, I know a lot of my guy friends, they like to use the uh, winter mist, um, you know, fragrance, opposed to the pomegranate. Me, I actually, I actually like the pomegranate myself, all right? So, ocean mist, I'm sorry, ocean mist, my... my a lot of my guys, they like to use the ocean mist. Um, and like I said, I, I like to use the pomegranate. It smells a little sweeter, uh, but I like it, okay? Um, and then, if you want to uh, actually put like uh, maybe some uh, purifying peeling gel into a baggie, all you got to do is just uh, open the baggie up and you just squirt it right inside of it. But again, you want to make sure that you label 
your um, your bags before you actually put this stuff in it, okay? Because if you get any of this stuff on your hands and then it gets on your bag, it's going to make it impossible to write on it, okay? So we don't want it to be impossible. We want it to be possible, okay? All right. So with that being said, that's all as far as what we do, as far as putting things together to send samples out for salts, for soaps, for our um, any type of a hand cream, foot cream, peeling gel, um, apricot peeling gel, um, anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk in here to the bathroom and show you all how you actually use the, uh, the mud soap, okay? So come on with me and we're going to go into the bathroom, all right? All right. Let's go on in here to the bathroom. It's a little dark, but bear with me, okay? All right. So, let's see what we're at.